everybody and how are you? I hope you enjoyed Saturday and you had a good uh, day overall um, and I hope you can have a good Sunday as well for today. Um, thank you again for all your sweet comments and all, all you know you're just so lovely you know you make me feel like you're part of my family. Um, it's quite touching. I was even talking to my husband yesterday and saying oh they're just such wonderful people uh, they're really kind and generous with the comments that they send me, you know, and um, I really do appreciate it. I can't explain in words how much, you know, it just means so much to me. And uh, and also, welcome to all the new subscribers as well. Um, I've wrote your names down, but this time I've left them in the house because my husband uh, has said, well, I'll make you a coffee, so... I've drank it before we start. I thought, well, I'll get I'll get it drunk while it's hot, and uh, and then I've forgotten. Right. Well, today we're going to do uh, the lantern that I've got. Um, I'm not going to put any bows on or anything. It has got quite like a shattered effect on the glass at the front, um, but that's part of how it is and the decor of it. And it's black with silver. What I'm going to do, because there's nothing there, I'm going to put in a little bit of Oasis and we're going to do our arrangement from there. Um, so I've got a, a block of dried Oasis and all I'm going to do is press it on the circle at the top and then it's given me the print of where I need to cut. So I've got my long spatula. In fact, I'll move that because the Oasis sticks to that really really light blue and I'm going to just cut slide my uh, spatula down and just go around it just slowly until I've got right to the other side I'm going to cut here, down here, because I don't need the other block. So we'll move that out of the way. And then I'll put the spatula in again. I'm going to just go there and just move it outwards. Oh, nearly dropped it on the floor. Oh, my sister in law's coming today for tea. I've done the same thing, so that's what we have from our oasis. I could glue this in, but they've got two little prongs inside what will hold it in uh, where the handles are attached. So I'm going to just place it in there and push it down as far as it will go. And we have that sticking up. I don't want it sticking up that much. I'm only going to take a little bit off like that so it's only sticking up slightly and because you can see where I've cut it all the rough bits on I tend to just brush those off and go around to give it that circular look instead of where you can see where I've cut with the oasis just to tidy it up and make it look better so that's how we've now got it where it looks much smoother so let's get rid of all this I love cutting Oasis, but the feel on your hands, as you can see, it's on my hands, it's grainy. And uh, that's the only bit about it I don't like. So let's get it off of our table. Right, I'm going to keep the handle. Do I have it? At, yeah, I'll keep it at the back. Um, I don't want it at the front because I think that will spoil the actual look from the glass. So I could take the handle off if I wish. Um, I may do that, I don't know yet. I could still, because you can pull them out, look. All right, let's take it off now. So it gives that better look. Right, before we start, I'm going to go with the theme of the colour of our lantern. First of all, like I had the purple yesterday from my from the lovely lady Emily, I've got the black and I'm going to use black. I'm going to do a monochromatic colour today 
So it's just going to be black and white, that is it. And obviously, yes, tell, tell that I've got like eucalyptus, I've got a bit of grey mixed in there, but I'm using the black and silver eucalyptus that I have as well. So I've just put them, bunch those together. I've also cut down some of my black fern. I'm not sure how many I need, but if I don't use them, I can just bunch them up and wait for when I want to use them again. But I've got that in black also. I've also just got, I've got some feathers. I'm not sure whether I want to add these in, but these are a gray, gray white color. I haven't got black. I could have sprayed these, uh, but I don't like to take the risk of spraying them. I'd rather just buy them in the color. I've checked, I used to have black, but I've obviously ran out and didn't realize. So I'm going to use the gray, because it is on the uh, lantern, gray and silver. I've also got this uh, this white uh, bush as well, and I think, oh, this is lovely. Uh, what I use in weddings a lot, uh, they like to see it in weddings. I thought I could add a bit of that instead of just all black foliage. Uh, I did get my uh, blossoms out, but as I was looking at them, they've got yellow in them. So I don't really think I'm gonna use these because I've got no yellow on the lantern even though I would have used these, you know, for taller bits or things coming out. I'm not, I don't, because I'm doubting it. So as I always say, if in doubt, take it out. Or if you've not put it in, if in doubt, leave it out. So I don't really think I'm going to use those. Uh, and I've also, get ready for the size of these guys. I have got some big, big, giant dahlias. And I want to use just probably one or three because I want to see if I can do a, an arrangement where it's coming out from the sides here. So it's going to be a different look. Uh, but yeah, they're very, very big. They have got to be eight inches wide from here to here. So that is big for a giant dahlia. So... I may use just one because I think three may be too much. We'll have to have a look. So we're using those as well. I've taken out some uh, white uh, carnations just to add those in as well. They're super, super white. I fluffed up them before we started and we're going to add those in also. I've also, I've brought you know, yesterday we used these calla lilies on the... Uh, rustic modern bridal bouquet in purple so i'm going to use some of these as well to also as you can see from the dahlias look how they contrast against it they are beautiful and make the dahlias as well even the color lilies they both stand out from each other um, i've got my miniature allium pom-poms in white i thought they may add a little bit of a different texture as well and as you can see, I'm wearing a white top. I thought, why not? I'll join in with it and I'll become monochromatic. So, and I've also got some astilbe in white. And I thought I may use also that as well to come out from the sides instead of the blossoms. So that is how flowers and foliage for today that we're going to use. So... Let's see what the big dahlia looks like. <laughs> I haven't got any in, in small dahlias in black. I've only got the big ones. I ordered the big ones because I did do a five foot high pedestal um, for somebody and they wanted it in black and white and silver. So I had, with it being five foot in height, I mean, that's just seven inches smaller than what I am. So it came up to about here and it was on a stand a white stand about here but then the arrangement was about you know as again probably about four foot in height so it was big <laughs> and it was also in the triangular shape and it was a 360 so they didn't want it flat at the back they wanted it so that people could see all the way around so i used a lot a lot of foliage and flowers for that but i loved it so and they loved it as well so i was more than happy so, I'm not sure if I'm going to use a turntable, 
Um, you know, I may just use it as, I don't know, we'll, we'll try it. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to use these. And again, like I say, we're going to do it a horizontal arrangement. I'm going to cut that one down to about here and I'm going to use those around in the centre. So let's dip it in our glue. I've locked my cat out again today. I'm not putting anything on here because this dried oasis is like a silvery colour. So it will blend in lovely with the arrangements that we're doing. So first of all, I'm going to press that in to the side like that. I'm not going to keep it quite horizontal. I'm going to put a bit of movement in by slightly just bending the tip. And we're going to do one on the other side. Now, let me go and get my tape measure because this is where I start getting technical with everybody. Where did I put my tape measure? Oh gosh, I knew I had it one day yesterday, was it? What day before? Oh, it's here. So let me measure how far that has gone out from the oasis to the tip. So that is 32 centimetres. Oh, it's come out my oasis. Right, I will glue it in. Now I've took the handle out. So I'm going to stroke it underneath. Let me just get that bit off. Oh my good gracious me, get in. And I'm going to put some also around the bottom of the of, around the edge of the bottom as well. So now I know it's not not safe now with that. So that will stay in now. Let me just hold it so it starts setting. So if that was thirty two. Let's see, once that's in, yeah, that's 34, so I've got to take these bottom two off. And let's now put this one in. I'm not going to put it directly across this one because it will join and it may, you know, touch the other stem and I won't be able to push it in further so I'm slightly just coming into the side of the other one. Let me just measure before I carry on. A little bit more. Thirty-two. Just remove any excess glue. We'll save those. And again, I've got these smaller bits. I could put that, mind you, the flower. One of the flowers is going to go. I'm not going to put that big dahlia in just yet because you may not be able to see where to work. And I really do need to see that. So let's just try with these. I may put these slightly. Yes, I'm going to have two either side. And maybe one either side there. So... We'll do that. Just lift up the petal and put placing it right next to the stem of here. Oh, I've got loads of this. <laughs> Absolutely loads. I love it. And it's brilliant for Halloween wreaths. Absolutely fabulous. So how far is that coming out? That's 22. Oh. So let's make sure it needs to come in there to there. I'm going to keep my finger on where it needs to come in till my finger and thumb. And because I've placed this on this side, I'm going to put that one slightly on this side. Place it just slightly under 22. <laughs> so 
put another one there, just cut that to start with. So I need, now measuring it with this one, I need to take off the lap bottom two rows of the, the stems, uh, the leaves, sorry. So again, do the same there and I'm going to measure, look at my eye view a little bit more, that's better. I'm going to slightly lean those over. And again, do it with another one. Cut it there. And I need three on this one because these ferns do come in different sizes on the stem. I need to pull it out slightly. Yeah. Just slightly lift it up. Just get rid of any excess glue. So as you can see, that's what we have at the moment. <laughs> so we, because I want some here, I'm going to go shorter with the fern. I don't want them as long as these on the side. So I'll cut it here, take these off at the bottom, get another one and do exactly the same. Just measure it up from tip to tip. And these on the bottom need coming off as well. Cut where the, I need to cut. And I'm only going to put one either side. So we'll place that just here. Again, any excess glue, just remove. I can feel it on my wrist. Oh, I had this yesterday. <laughs> God gracious me. And again, we'll do that mirror image it on the other side. Oh my gosh. It's stuck everywhere. Do the same here. So then you have that effect. If you can see up close, and that's the effect that we're going with. So I don't need no more fern either. So we'll place those out of the way. Get rid of all this. Right, and because I've cut this down short, I may place that there. Let's see, or I could have it here. But then again, I do have my eucalyptus in the silvery colour. So if I take... that one off and that one. This one's been pushed right up to the top. I've not done that, it's probably how it was sat in the bucket. So I'll just manoeuvre them and bring them back down. Look at the colour of that guys. Doesn't that look lovely? Oh, it's got like a glittery, the silver's glittery. So what I'm going to do with this, 
I'm going to place this on top so we've got a bit of movement going across the longest stem of our foliage. Do the same with this one. manipulate that a little bit like that. I want some smaller pieces. I'll take a couple of the small off the sides. And I'm going to put one each here. And again I'm just I'm I'm inserting them in you know, I'm not pushing them right to the bottom under here because there is a hole under here which will you'll see your stems going into your lantern. So just take that into consideration that it will go through the underneath. My goodness, I can't get it off my hands today. I don't know whether I need to put, yeah, I'm going to put some coming out from here, here, here and here. So we'll do that, so I want four, I don't want big pieces. Whoops, one, two, three, one more. Can't get it. Oh, that's a bit short. We'll go for that one. Because I want to use them as depth as well. I don't just want them all on the top. So these pieces are going to be shorter and just placed inside. There's a piece, you know, a little bit of depth. So I'm going to go here, <clears throat> excuse me, oh and eucalyptus, I have got all colours, I've got obviously this, what we're working with, the green, the bluey, uh, grey colour, the, that grey colour, there's plain grey, pink, uh, like a red colour, a mauve, you could, oh you can get them in all colours. And again like this is using as like our, you know, filler at the bottom to hide, you know, your oasis. Do it on this side as well. And then one more. Which one was the bad one? Well, not the bad, the small. That's not got many leaves on. I think this one was the. I'm going to take a leaf off, a couple of leaves off of this one. And then just attach it by. Putting it through the hole. Oh my goodness, the wire on this has come off. Oh my gosh, it's not going right today. There we go. That's better. So we'll cut that. Not many people like monochromatic looks, but I, I suppose it depends on what style you like, you know, in your house. If you're a modern person, you know, it's usually people who like modern type things that tend to go for this sort of style. Right, we have our feathers. Now these are on paperback. 
and I want to add a little bit of different texture and movement so let's pull some off how many do I need one two oh let me just put these two in to start with and if you don't want them this long I mean because they are quite long all you have to do you know is just get your scissors and just give it a haircut as I say trim it up the, the stem of you know the actual uh, the main stem just trim it quite neatly because it does leave little bits left just give it a lovely haircut grade one <laughs> as we say here And then by doing that, as you can see, that makes it shorter. But because I've still got the hairy, hairy bits, hairy furry bits, <laughs> I'm going to get some white pop tape. Now, did I leave? Yeah, it's here. I have white pop tape on because, and the reason I'm using this is it's a light stem, and plus we're going for the monochromatic. I don't want to see any green in it whatsoever. Not pop tape, sorry, coarse wash tape. I really don't want to see, you know, any green at all. So we're going to use this white coarse wash tape. So then this will blend in lovely with the theme of our, you know, the colour theme that we are doing. So as you can see, that's how it is. And don't that look better? If we, if we put green on, I think it would have spoilt it. So I'm going to bring one here. Let's dip it in our glue. Make sure it doesn't cook everywhere. In fact, I'm going to put it under the eucalyptus. Push it in. Just wipe away the glue. So you've got your little bit of feather hanging over if i just show you from the this view i hope you can see that i'll bring it up and i'll move it around because i sometimes i don't know if i've got it in view and i'll bring it like that as well so you've got it there giving that extra little airiness as well so how long was that to there so now i know where to cut and the way to cut, I'll just bring those down and then they'll stand out like that. I don't know if you can see. I need something black, I think, so you can see. Let me grab one of the big dahlias just so you can see inside it if I can. Oh my good gracious, I can't. I'll bring the bunch. As you can see, it's like that. So it's easier for you to cut by, you know, bringing the feathers downwards. And then again, just give it the grade one. What the gentlemen tend to have when they have a haircut, well, mainly gentlemen. Some women have it too. But some women look fabulous with grade one. I don't. Well, that's not that I've tried. I'll just cut some of the stem off. And then get our white corsage tape. We'll go around and go right to the bottom. And that's just to prevent any of the feathery bits, you know, coming off what that I may not have caught. Or that are smaller, should I say, where I've cut them. So again, I'm going underneath the eucalyptus. Right, I need to measure got my tape ready today so that one is 30 centimeters which is a one foot oh that one is two. Oh, that was good <laughs> oh that was super right let me get rid of these uh, bits of stuff off the feather right I want to see if I want a smaller one 
yeah I'm going to put two smaller ones there as well so pull them off if I can or am I holding it or oh, cut them I'll cut them I don't want to do you know ruin it so I'm going to cut those there because these are going to be shorter so we don't want that now so let me see so I want to cut it about an inch over so there I want to cut it oh oh my gosh oh oh my gosh I nearly used my scissors see I've got that left that could be just sat there but then I think it would be fraying off at the top so no I'm not going to take that risk so I measure it again so I need to trim from here downwards so fluff it down like that so it then sticks out so you can see where you need to cut and just cut right up to the stem at the side of the stem but not actually on the stem Just cut it a little bit more and again get your, your corsage tape if you haven't got white uh, and you've got well, you've got white pot tape I have white pot tape as well uh, you can use that uh, if not when you need you have no choice but to use the green either spray it if you've got some spray paint and spray it white uh, I've done that before when I've run out and I've needed to uh, spray it but I don't think that's a problem it's still it's still you wouldn't have known even when I sprayed it so there from there and I've just measured this one against the other one to save me getting the tape measure out to measure how far but the only thing is I do use the tape measure when it comes to placing it I like it to be, you know, all all placed at the correct position and length. It's just the way, you know, that I was taught. I was taught to do things like this. You know, especially when you're, you, if you're, a, some designers, they will check for things like that. It's all about technique and measurements so I'm going to just go at the side of that I need to try bend it over so it sits now that one's slightly what a can't let that one sit up and bend it at the top. It will. The very sometimes these can be really hard to bend and manipulate. You wouldn't think, but tape measure. From up there to the to the top of that stem, fifteen. 15 centimetres that is um, I was just working in centimetres there now I just want to check this one right I need to go down four centimetres I'm not going to push it in too far to start with there we go because if I pushed it in too far and I've got it wrong then I would have had to bring it back out and then you would have your oasis you would have had to take it out of your oasis because it would have made a bigger hole, bigger hole and it would have made it you know loose right so that's that let me move that I tell you I've got lots of tape 
I order some thinking, oh, I need green. Oh, gosh, I think I've got about 12 now. So I'm not going to run out. Right, let's get, these are some off cuts I've got. Yeah, I have them in my bucket with the others, but I didn't want to use fresh. Let's have a look. I'm going to cut these. And I'm going to place these just above. I just put one there because I, that's where I'm going to place it. Just there. And then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Place that one there. <laughs> I've got that feeling in my ears. I feel my ears have popped. And I can, I can hear myself breathing inside my ears. Uh, it's like I can hear myself when I'm talking. It's echoing inside. Because both of my ears have popped. And I don't know why. It's a really weird feeling. I keep swallowing, hoping that they'll unpop. But they haven't as of yet. So, we'll take... That one was slightly longer. So that one was fluffier than this one so the fluffier one I will mirror image it on the opposite side because if I put the uh, this one which isn't as fluffy uh, here next to it it's going to be unbalanced so I'm trying to keep it balanced Just fluff that them up. Oh, I do like those. Remove that glue. I put a bit too much on there. So I'll take that off. So that's what we're looking at at the moment, everybody. If I'm shouting, I'm sorry. It's because, like I say, my ears have popped. But that's what we're looking at at the moment. I think that one's turned itself upside down. So let's just manipulate it back. It's better. Yeah. Right. Again, I'm not putting the one of I'm only going to use one of these guys because these are huge. Let's go, like I say, eight centimeters the inches is a big, big, big flower head. So I'll cut it there. I can use some of the uh, leaves off of here as well to add, because look at the size. Oh, I don't know now. That is huge. Oh no, that looks like I've got a hat on it now. No, immediately I'm not going to use that. So what have I, if I can't find, I don't think I've even got any more black. Uh, You know what, guys? Um, oh, just bear with me, everybody. Because I will get this sorted. I do need black, and I will get black. Now, here's a dahlia. Now, that's better. Right. Black. Black spray. Right, now what I'm going to do, if I can find what I've done with them. Oh, it's around here, I think. I think, I say that. Oh my goodness, where have I gone with that towel? I have a towel for when I do spraying. Oh, it's here. And you'll see I have a towel because it's got different colours on. So I'll show you how I do it. Different colours of spray. I, I did a red one. Can you tell? <laughs> so, I'm going to take the foliage off. I don't want the foliage on it because it's green. Excuse the noise. 
You have to shake it a few times. You will get it on your hands if you don't wear gloves. But I haven't got time to put gloves on. I'm too excited to do in this. We have got a black dahlia. <laughs> so there you go. Now I'm gonna, you can see where there's bits of white. So what I tend to do, I go down, spray down at an angle behind the bottom leaf. So it catches all of the leaves because I don't want to show. Uh, I do sometimes wear a mask, but with it being one flower, hey, sorry, that's just me. Right, what I will do, to let it dry, stand it up. And that's all you do, guys, and all these are, these are all for, I mean, this is a quick dry one, it's the Oasis one. As you can see, and the colour tells you what it is by the top of the lid inside. So there's the colour of, of your spray. And uh, and all I do, uh, once I've done that, like I say, let it dry. If it needs doing again, then I give it a second coat. But I've gone right around. So instead of the big black dahlias, we've got a smaller dahlia. And if I need another one, I shall grab another one. I wanted to use dahlias because I mean they're one of my favourites. So I'll put these big things out of the way. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that on here because if anything drips off, which it shouldn't, I mean it is quick drying this stuff from Oasis. And I've got it a bit on my hands but it comes off really, really easy. And I tend to use, again to get it off if, if I think it's irritating me, and they can smell it because you get you know you can smell it it does wear away baby wipes that's all i use i think these have dried out actually yeah these have dried out because i've had them open but baby wipes you know or anything or soap soapy water they will get them off it's, it won't stain your hands you can wash it off so that's how I spray my flowers. And I buy all my uh, sprays, paints from my wholesaler um, because I've got a, an account with them. I get them slightly cheaper if you bought them online. Um, but you have to own your own business to have a whole, uh, well, where I am anyway, with the wholesalers I am. They won't just um, let anybody who's just a guest just buying one off you have to have a business. So because I've got a business and I've proved to them I've got a business, uh, now I've got, I've got an account and I've had an account with them for quite a while. Just gonna shake in case any off. I'm not gonna dab it because if I dab it where it's wet, it'll take it off. You can, look, you can get a hair dryer on it if you want to blow dry it and get it dry quicker. Or you can sit there for ages and blow like that. But it does dry, as you can see, it's drying relatively quickly. So I'll save that till a little bit, you know, let it dry. So I'll bring this back on. So I'll make sure I leave a space, you know, for the dahlia. Right, I've got these as still be. And I've put pot tape on these. But for some reason that pot tape I've used on this isn't working. It's starting to unstick for some reason. And plus it's green. So I wonder if I can unravel them. I don't think I can. Oh, I've got one here, look, but hasn't got any on. So we'll use those instead. But yes, I usually, some, when I'm spraying things, take it outside. Again, like I say, it's only, uh, well, I shouldn't make excuses up. That's not right. That's wrong. I should have gone outside, but I wanted to show you, you know, how I do it. 
how the paint spray paint works see now this has got green on and I don't want green so I'm going to take these little leaves off again because I want to stick to the monochromatic look and I'm going to cut the prongs off so I can't put the greenery back on and I'm going to wrap it in my white corsage tape wrap the stem around so then it hides majority of the green I can't hide the green what's on the flower but you won't notice that you'll be it'll be the stem that you'll see more than anything so let's wrap this around right from under the flowers I'm wrapping it right to the bottom <laughs> and if you think feel that you can still see a little bit of green through which I can I'm going to go I'm going to double up and go all the way back up to the top I'm not going to cut it uh, well rip it off I'm just going to follow it back up and wrap around up to the top that's better now it's hiding some of the green that was showing through the white tape because the thing is with monochromatic it's you have to stick to one colour well not one you know it's like monochromatic is like a colour with a tint and this has got a tint of white and um, I just don't want to see green in it because all the others have got white stems or black stems so this needs to be white or black stem I could have put the black one on actually oh well never mind got quite a lot of black in it might make it look pretty with a bit of white stem and then back up even though I may be cutting this stem it doesn't matter at least I know that I've covered it and it'll be all the way up to the back up to the top and it'll be done properly without showing any green and it's covered So there we have it, white stems. So they will look lovely. You know, I was thinking of putting those like that in there and giving that touch. So I'm going to cut that just there, but give an angle so it'll go into the oasis. So I'm going to do that. I don't want to push it in too far because. I want it slightly hanging over and the stems aren't very long. Do the same on here. Okay, and bear in mind I'm leaving room. You know, for the dahlia which is, looks like it's virtually dry yeah not long now because some spray paints that I've had off of other companies <coughs> excuse me say the quick drying and I've had to wait an hour and then when I've gone back I can still see it's not covered it correctly so then I've had to give it a second coat and wait another hour nearly another hour oh and it can be monotonous so I tend to get the Oasis one where it's you know it's very quick drying you can get some water quick drying from other companies you know it's not just the oasis but i've always had the oasis i have got others uh, but i think the oasis out of everything that i've had is the you know the better one right i want to put in and these again need to be covered in the pot tape because i don't want to see because it's a white pom-pom I don't want to see the green stem so we'll quickly go down I mean it's not a dark green so the, I think this only needs one and I'm going to bring those I think 
under here as you can see just sticking out there because these are quite floppy uh, they'll give you that movement I'm going to place that there just manipulate it there it's hard to just pull it out because I've got the, the band on it there. I felt much better yesterday guys when I didn't have my cat with me and I, we did the uh, the modern bridal bouquet the rustic I think it's rustic I've got it over there because I can't hang it on the wall so it's over there but yeah I think it's the acorns that give it that rustic feeling but yeah when we did that I felt much better because he wasn't here bugging me and I went in the house and he wasn't even in the house he was still outside and he didn't come in till about eight o'clock and that was even better he didn't even come for his tea early and that's very very unusual of my cat so i may want a little bit hmm no I'm going to not, because I could put though, hmm, let me just, no, no, I'm not going to do that either, because we have got our carnations, and again, let me just get this plucked up again. And I may have the odd one coming out, or one, from there, or do I put it above the feather? Yeah, it'll probably have to go above the feather. This has got green, so again, I, it's got its petals on, and I want to keep the petals. Oh, how do I take them off? Now, this is a decision I must make. Oh, I don't want green in. I just don't want green in. But saying that, I've got, oh gosh, I've made a big mistake. I've got green on the colour lilies. Oh, what do I do? One moment. I've just come up with a, an idea. If I can grab them, that is. It looks like they've sunk to the bottom. How many do I need? Oh my gosh. You know what? No, I'm not going to use those either. I've got some spider lily. I don't want to use those. I want something a bit more solid. Mm. Sorry if I'm going a bit quiet. Just try. It's trying to make a. a you know, think of something at the last minute to replace. Do I? Oh, this is where I start to get. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice actually underneath. Again, they've all got green stems. <laughs> Let's give it a go. I don't mind trying. Again, I would have realised about the colour lilies. How silly of me. Go down. Give it a white stem. I'm going to go virtually near to the bottom because it's going to be long and coming out long. So go again there, right under the neck of the flowers, all the way down. 
this corsage tape is very sticky. I don't really like it if I'm being quite honest. I don't like the stickiness of it. It leaves your hands sticky as well. That's why I prefer the, uh, I can't remember, I've been searching for it and I, I ordered it, but they've sent the corsage tape again. The, the, the other green one that I like using, which I find much better, because you don't get a stickiness on that. Not on your hands anyway. I'm going to bring that out. I can hear my cat outside. He's not coming in. So I'm going to push that. Like that. Just try to get in. Not today. Sorry, but not today. Yeah. Now I've cut some of these down when I use, tried to use, oh, it's not got a thing here. So we're going to have to put the glue, glue it here. So it pushes right to the top, whereas the opposite. There we go. See, now they've got green stems, but I can. Mm, take those up as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to, because I don't want to be using the, uh, it's going to be hard to tape up around these colour lilies without having the leaves on. I could take the leaves off, let's have a go. Oh no, I can't because it's all green on there and I can't tape around there. So we can't use those. Unfortunate guys. But hey ho, I only want to use actually. That's dry. Let me get that in first. I'm not going high with this arrangement. So let's get our dahlia in. Yeah. I'm only sticking it to about here. Let's get the excess glue off. And that's all that's staying at. So then I'm going to put these coming out from here. And again, unfortunately, I'm going to have to tape these up. It's the taping I think that takes the most time. But if you want that sort of a style again, hang on. Seems to keep taping it, don't it? Let's unravel it. So it can be, it can get a nuisance. So you just do the same thing as I did with the dahlia. in there let it dry I'm going to cut it about here because I don't want these long and I'm holding it here with my hands and spraying downwards onto the uh, the, the uh, towel I brought this towel especially it was a lovely duck egg blue <laughs> it's not no more place that in I don't know if I want, yeah. Just do the same. This saves time. Try not to spray too close because then you'll get bits running down like you'll be able to see that it's been running down the stem. Oh, one moment. Look, this one's just slightly coming off at top. So I'm going to glue, glue that back on. Go 
smooth as glue. Trying to make sure I don't get no paint black on me on it with it be white. Yeah, by spraying too close, it makes you look like it, it starts to become looking like it's dripping off the stem and it leaves those drip marks. So I'm going to leave those to dry as well. That's the best thing about having spray paint. So while we're waiting for that, we will put in our, well, oh, now do our carnations. <laughs> oh, everything's got green stems. Have I got anything with white stems? Don't think I have at all. No, they're all green. Oh my good gracious me. Let's get some black foliage in. Oops, wrong one. Let's put some more black foliage in. Again, this one. I was going to put in anyway. I should have realised all this and then prepared it all this morning before we started. Absolutely forgot about it that I'd have to cover the green stems up, but never mind. At least then it gives you, you know, for me to show you what I do. If uh, that's the reason I have spray paints because not all the time you can get what you want. You can't really go and get lilies or anything with white stems. Well, I've not found any. Uh, so uh, that's why I've invested in spray paint. Spray paint, that's uh, for floral foam, uh, floral foam and also, uh, you know, for floral silk flowers things like that because it does help if you haven't got the colour up or if you want to make an arrangement and you've not got um, the colour flower you'd like uh, say like if I had a red rose and I've only got red roses and I wanted a pink one I buy spray well I don't buy I've got it already but I would buy spray paint from the my old, old sailors in in the pink that I'm looking for and spray the red rose pink with it being deeper red on the, you know, dark red and it's darker than the pink, you may have to do it, uh, you know, two or three times to cover the red. But then you've still, at the end of it, you still get that pink rose that you, you were wanting. And that can save money. It really can, guys. You know, it does help just to invest in, you know, some floral spray. Hold on to that. What are you thinking of it now, guys, as it's looking like that? Very monochromatic. <laughs> I mean, I can still see uh, bits underneath of the oasis, but on the daily, they've got black leaves. I can grab those leaves off of there instead of using these, uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want to uh, take off these because they are beautiful. <coughs> oh, that paint's making me cough. So do I do? No, I do two. And two there. Oh, that's why you should really wear a mask. Very silly of me not to, but. Oh, it's too late now, sorry. It's not professional of me. Usually I've got a mask on. I've got all my masks in there. That's what I, the only mask what I used when I did, uh, you know, when it was the COVID and we had to walk around with masks on. It's just those that I use.
So that's that. Let me get some black petals off of the big dahlia. And if you don't want to use, I'm going to pull these off if I can. Yeah. Bring them all up. I mean, look at the size of those. They are huge compared to, uh, you know, them. <laughs> but I don't mind. Now these, let's have a look how am I going to place them. See, I could place them all around. And I could actually place some in there, but we do need white, so we've got to wait for the white. Let's see, do I put a pick in them or do I cut them off individually? Hmm, where's that one? I've got one here on its own. So let's have a look what one looks like. And if I push, yeah, it's going to have to be one, one by itself. And I'm going to push this in as far as I can get it. I'm only leaving a little stem on it because, if you can see, because obviously I want these to go as close to the bottom, uh, to the oasis as possible, so I can cover the oasis. So I'm just going to push those in. As you can see, like that. So now that's covered. Now if I put them in like that, they'd be sticking out there. So you'd have that gap there at the end and you'd still be able to see your oasis. And if you're still worried about your oasis, I mean, you can get either your white spray paint or your black spray paint and just spray slightly under before you put your flowers in. If, you were, if you're going to be concerned about that. And that's what I've done many a times. Spread the oasis first, but don't do it while your floral are in it, guys, because you may spray something you don't want to be sprayed, especially your white flowers. Well, I've got, I'm going to place these, because these are bendy anyway. They look quite nice. They look really quite nice. I'm going to go all around. I've even got a couple of what are small. That's got a bit of wiring, so I don't need to put a stem on that. Let's try the double one. I was just checking to see because uh, these uh, holes, you know, the picks, what I'm putting in, I thought they may be a bit bigger with a bit, wait a second, where they're being uh, the dahlias, the hole may be slightly bigger, but yeah, they fit perfect. Again, I'm going all around the bottom. So I want to cover my oasis as much as I can. Again, I'm taking the smaller ones off. Isn't it good when you can use anything out of your, your florals that you have to fill in? I might just get a few of the green florals and end up spraying them all black and white. Let's just check. Oh yes, dry. <laughs> yes, there's no paint on my hands. I always check my hands. This gives quite a nice touch to the bottom. It gives it that roundness. 
that fits it. Have to remember where I've gone looking under the bottom. So you can see the top. So I want one there and one there. Let's try the double one. That places there. Now one more there. I'll use this somewhere. I may as well get rid of them all. I'm just putting the odd black one into my uh, off cuts. There's, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it because there's no more of them. So, as you can see, that's what we have at the moment. From that angle, it's like that. Don't you think that looks lovely? You can still see in the, in the centre. But as soon as we, you know, we get these colour lilies in, and I want to use those quite shorter of depth. I'm going to just stick those in the glue. Oh, look at that. Oh, I was going to pick, a, pick one of those up. Cut that. Try and find the space to get it in. I'm going to push it in from the bottom. I don't think there's much. Uh, Oh go on, say it, what am I, much room to put the, because these are quite thick stems. Perhaps let me cut a little bit off there. And then one on this side. Oh, look at that from the top. Doesn't that look wonderful? Oh. Now, do I add in now the great eucalyptus? Because I've been hanging on to this. Not the black. Because I don't want to put too much grey in with it being monochromatic. No. It takes that off. So I've got these, put those in there, let's just see, by placing them in, yeah, so let me just take a couple of them off on the bottom, let's measure them, yeah. Just cut to 45 degree again. I know I keep saying it guys, I just, you know, just like to remind people, uh, especially if you're a newcomer and you've not done floristry before, you know, you never know if there's somebody new and it's the first time that they're watching, you know, it's just to help them as well. Slightly bend that. I should put a couple on there as well. Let's have a look. Hmm. It's all right, guys. I'm just contemplating. I do really did really want a carnation in. 
or even maybe on there. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the stems off. Where's that one I had? The, not the stems, the leaves. I've got to put a carnation in. So, I need to save waiting for the, the spray paint to dry. Oh, could I do it in black? Oh. White flower, black stem. Here we go. <laughs> I hope this helps watching, knowing that you can do things like this. Right, I'm covering the white. I don't want that. Sorry about the noise. I will get it on my hands, but I can get that off. Let's see if I've covered that. White flower, black stem. <gasps> What a contrast. I think I may have cut it a bit. Oh, no, I haven't. That was lucky. I'm going to take this off. Look at my hand. <laughs> I don't mind because I know it comes off, so it doesn't bother me. Let's see, I cut those off. So I'm going to follow what I've done with that. I could have left them on then. But now because I've done that, I will follow and do the, exactly the same with this and cut these off. What you do with one, you must do with the other. Right, we'll let that sit and dry. Look at that. I should have some more uh, baby wipes. If I haven't, then more for me. Here they are, look. Are these a bit wetter? Yeah. Oh, I find baby wipes are awkward things to get out of packaging. Because they've got alcohol in them, you see. Let me wait for it to dry. Look, you can see it coming off now. So... Oh, I've got it even on my hands. My goodness, I can't get it off. I'm t telling you it comes off and now it's not coming off. It's probably because I've put two layers of it over my skin. Oh, it's coming off. Oh, what's that no one? Yeah, it's coming off slowly. I think it'd be better once I've got soapy water on it as well oh, i can't be bothered to keep rubbing so we'll sort it you'll see me tomorrow uh, not tomorrow yeah tomorrow monday you'll see me and it won't be on it'll be gone so i definitely don't need no more of that so we've just got to wait for those to dry so while we're waiting i shall put bits and bobs away guys and if you've done a monochromatic one yourselves, you know, send us a few pictures. Uh, I've just decided to do it with the lantern, uh, you know, just to, uh, instead of doing it with just a vase or anything, I thought that the uh, glass on it, the crackled glass, gave it that lovely effect. I'm going to have to order things in black. Now I know I've not got much. It's going to bug me otherwise. And I can't. I have to have a stuff of every colour that I can think of. Because you never know. A customer may pop up and ask for one. And I don't want to be in that situation where I was, sorry I haven't got it. So. Let me get rid of all this rubbish here. My bin's full. That also needs emptying. That will get emptied after the video. So then it's all fresh again for tomorrow. So we'll put the bits of oasis in I don't want. Save the big blocks that I do. I might as well do this while we're waiting, eh? Just put all these back. 
I've got a bucket for everything. So I know where I've got to put things. I've got a bucket for all different kinds of feathers, all colours. A uh, bucket for all coloured oasis, uh, not oasis, sorry. Uh, different coloured um, eucalyptus. Got buckets for those as well. So, yeah, I'm very prepared. Well, I never used to be. I just used to put everything in one bucket and hope for the best until I started buying uh, buckets. So, I'm trying to think, I don't want to, I'm going to cut this and just put two pieces in so we can use these because it's just a stem on its own. <laughs> My ears are still popped, they've not cleared yet. This one in the opposite side as well. So where is it I want to place? Just look, no, there's still a little bit wet at the bottom. That's why I have a little jug like this to place things in when I'm spraying. Well, after I've sprayed them, I'll pop them in and uh, just allow it, you know, to dry on its own. Gosh, my bucket is full. Gosh, I can't believe this isn't coming off as much as it usually does. I think it's because the cheaper baby wipes, you know, I tend to use the uh, the Johnsons. Oh, it's coming off. See, I think I have to let it dry on my own skin as well, because it was still a bit sticky wet, as I call it. One way to paint your nails, <laughs> put rubber gloves on and just cut out the tip of it and put spray paint on. Hey, that's just popped in my mind. Oh, what a good idea. I'm not saying do it because this has got chemicals in and it's not good for your skin. So, yes, it's coming off a lot. You can see it's coming off but slowly. I'm only doing this guys, sorry for doing this while instead of the flowers. I'm just waiting for the stem on the two carnations and then we will actually be finished. Yeah, it don't come off your nails. <laughs> Not with a wipe. So you just see, you've got all round nail polish all year round. <laughs> so that's quite fun. But then again, I ain't got no nails. I've got little stubbies. I can't have nails. Not in floristry. Right. So this is virtually dry, that bit is. So I'm gonna put them in. Instead of wasting any time. Put that, I think, in there. So, dip it in our glue. No, you're not coming in. Not today. You can stay outside. I want these relatively, just push slightly in. I'm gonna lift the head up slightly. Put it under there still be to give it a little bit because there's no flower coming out here so I want some flower to come out of there now that one's a bit long so I don't need all of that what time are we on oh it's nearly midday nearly dinner time well snack time my dinner's in the evening. Let's just put in this. Let's have a look. Yes. Well, guys, that's what we have. 
it and that's what we've made today on a lovely Sunday morning or nearly dinner yeah nearly dinner lunch should I say uh, and that's the monochromatic look uh, if you look at it like that way the length you know how it's horizontal but it, now it looks vertical but that's how it looks from there doesn't that look lovely and especially with the, the container the lantern that would look really really nice just in somebody's uh, you know modern house or you know my sister-in-law she has black she likes black and white so I think if she spots this she'll want this um, so uh, I'm not going to show it to her tonight I'm going to if she asks what I've been doing I'm going to say nothing nothing because sometimes she likes to come in here and have a little look so I might just have to put it out of sight out of mind you know what I mean because I quite like that I love the pot the lantern so yeah um, if you want to have a go at it guys you know share to your friends and family and uh, also you know uh, please subscribe as well and if you like it give us a thumbs up and uh, let us know what you think sorry I haven't zoomed in with the camera again today because uh, I haven't got the you know I had to move it quite back 